It's 11.47 p.m. and I'm staring at a blinking cursor trying to knock out a quick two-minute motivational podcast opener about beating procrastination classic. I could do it the old school AI way, bounce into Google's notebook LM to wrestle a decent draft, paste that into 11 Labs for the voice, fix timing and audacity, hunt a piano loop in some stock music graveyard, then juggle an RSS host so people can actually hear it. Been there, it works but it feels like duct taping five stoves together just to fry one egg. Tonight, I would rather keep my brain cells and use PodCastle, the one tab studio that handles everything after you already have words on the page. Quick reality check up front. PodCastle will not brainstorm or write your script, you either type into its editor or paste text you created in some other tool. That could be Notebook LM, ChatGPT, a Google Doc, a napkin, whatever. Think of PodCastle as the superpower production wing, not the writer's room. Let me rewind and show you why I was desperate for consolidation. First stop, ChatGPT. I prompted. Draft a two-minute motivational script about overcoming procrastination. ChatGPT spits out a stiff dialogue between two speakers. I nudge the prompt. It rewrites. I tweak again. After 15 minutes of prompt gymnastics, I finally paste a version that sounds like me into Notebook LM. Notebook LM can produce audio fast, but polish, you still need elbow grease. Alternatively, I hop to Eleven Labs. Their text-to-speech is killer, ultra-realistic, warm, uncanny in a good way. I paste my words, choose the default voice, click generate, wait a few seconds and hit play. Sounds great, but too many steps. And to do any edits, like fix pacing, I must edit the text and regenerate the entire clip. Another wait, another preview, fine. Q third tool, Audacity. I'm not even gonna go this rabbit hole. Too much tool juggling. None of these steps are broken individually. Together they are a friction city. I am copy pasting between tabs, downloading and re-uploading WAV files, praying my coffee doesn't wear off. There has to be a better way. And that's why I've been playing with PodCastle for a while. PodCastle pours all its AI horsepower into what comes after the writing, sounding phenomenal and shipping everywhere. Text to speech, voice cloning, real voice recording with an in-browser teleprompter, multi-track editor, huge royalty-free music SFX library, magic dust audio enhancer, and even free podcast hosting with automatic RSS. All in a single tab. Open recording studio, and here I can paste my ChatGPT draft. No modal pleading for prompts, no ghost writing illusions. The script sits there awaiting the voice. If I decide to record in my human voice, I smack the record button. I read the script, stop, and it takes me a couple of clicks to drop it straight in the timeline. And if the recording isn't perfect, it's noisy or whatever, I can just hit magic dust after recording. One click and the AI removes hum, balances levels, and sprinkles EQ so I sound like I rented a booth. The cleanup is that fast. Or if I'm in no mood for recording myself, I'll use PodCastle's AI Voice Hub, home to over 1,000 lifelike voices across multiple accents, ages, and tones, the largest curated catalog I found. In the sidebar, I filter to US English accent and make it motivational. A bunch of voices appear, Aaron, Wyatt, Hunter. I click Aaron, highlight my text, press generate. Seconds later, the narration sits on track one. Want something with more persona? Switch to the character's filter. This isn't helium chipmunk territory. It's a lineup of dramatic or expressive reads. Great for audio dramas or multi-character storytelling, still anchored in realism. Pick August, regenerate just a second paragraph paragraph and boom, dual casting accomplished. And if I crave my own vocal fingerprint but don't want to record the entire script, I can create an instant clone. PodCastle asks for about 15 seconds of clean speech. I read a default phrase into the laptop mic, press create, and the async engine spins up Arthur AI in under a minute. Now I mix and match paragraph one and Aaron paragraph two as Arthur AI for meta humor. With voices placed, I start timing tweaks. Trim a lead in silence here, add a cut there. Because PodCastle treats transcript text as an editing handle, I can literally delete or reorder sentences, and the underlying audio rearranges in lockstep. Then I browse music. Over 7,000 royalty-free tracks live in the panel. Search uplifting synth, drag it onto track two, and decrease volume so the background dips under speech. Need a subtle swoosh? Search SFX. 
whoosh, drop it right on the timeline. Every asset is cleared for commercial use, eliminating licensing hunts. Final click is exporting. Sure, but why bother when Podcastle includes a hosting hub? I open the publishing drawer, name a new show, upload square artwork, and hit finish. Podcastle spends an RSS feed and pushes to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Casts, you know the drill. No DNS hacks, no third-party logins. For YouTube, I can export an MP4 audiogram with waveform art in the same window. Elapsed project time roughly five minutes from paste to publish versus 20 plus using the Frankenstein stack. What makes Podcastle so useful is the consistency and versatility. Usually every jump between apps risks format mismatches, lost focus, extra render times. Podcastle keeps voiceover, music effects, and distribution in one memory space. That's less technical drag. If you code, Podcastle's hidden powerhouse, Async, is now an open API. Officially announced this spring, Async exposes the same low latency TTS, voice cloning, and noise processing endpoints to developers. Latency clocks under 200 milliseconds for real-time generation. Podcastle's huge voice library opens up all kinds of creative doors. Want to produce an audio drama? Give each character, hero, mentor, villain, their own character voice and keep your cloned voice as the narrator, all in one timeline. Teaching an online course, Pick a calm, clear-spoken female voice for the lessons and let magic dust smooth out any rough recordings your students send in. Need to update customers? Clone the CEO's voice so those brand messages sound genuinely in-house, add a touch of background music, and you're done. No studio booking required. You might even create an audio newsletter in half an hour. Paste the text, choose a character voice that matches brand tone, insert quick stingers between segments, and cue tomorrow's publish. Podcastle doesn't try to be everything. Podcastle slams from page to polished show in minutes. Voices, music, cleanup, and distribution all under one roof. Compared to juggling separate text-to-speech, digital audio workstation, stock audio, and hosting services, the time and cost savings are obvious. Eleven Labs remains fantastic if you only need raw voice clips. Notebook LM is stellar at summarizing articles, but if your goal is to roll out finished audio content, podcast episodes, narrated videos, training snippets, Podcastle is the friction killer. You know, it's the difference between cooking with five mini stoves and one induction wrench. So if you are a student narrate in a project, a side hustling blogger who wants audio versions, or a YouTuber with perpetual sore throat syndrome like me, give Podcastle's free tier a try. Pay some text, dish in a character voice, watch magic dust work, and feel that where you have been all my life glow. And because we're buddies with Podcastle, you can snag a 50% discount on the six month subscription today link below. Drop your podcastle experiments in the comments and until next time, stay creative, stay curious and get that episode out of your head into people's ears.